I'm gonna do we're gonna do it outside because my mom she's watching TV on the sofa and you know so and I'm gonna paint so I need to be outside anyway so what we're gonna need I'm gonna show you it is it's going to be a feeder I do have um, bird feeder in the house I didn't bring it out yet sorry um, let's see so what you're gonna need is a hook a three thing hook now I got this one it has a big s on it you I don't know if you could oops sorry um, I don't know if you could find a uh, smaller one but I think this is pretty strong so this might work for this project very well um, I bought this at Walmart because I went to Dollar Tree and they didn't have any. Now some of your Dollar Trees may have them. So this was like $5 for this at Walmart and it was really hard to find. I had to even ask somebody to tell me where, if they had them or not and they had to go hunting. So, And I got a plate. You're going to need a plate. Now um, this was $1.25 at Dollar Tree. So you can go to Dollar Tree and get you a, a, a plate. Now if you have a plastic one you want to rather use, that's fine with me. I wanted a plastic one but I couldn't find any at Walmart and I couldn't find none at Dollar Tree a plastic one. And if you want, you can get yourself a wreath, a little cheap wreath if you want. If you don't want this, you do not have to put this in this project. Now, we, as you can tell, you not, I haven't told you what we're making yet. Um, we're going to make a bird feeder. That's what we're making. And I got a wreath out of a wreath. This is what we're going to make it out of. And... Um, you're going to, um, the, I got this at Dollar Tree, of course, a dollar twenty-five because that is what Dollar Tree is now. So pretty much, I see a few things in there for a dollar, but not too much. Everything's pretty much a dollar twenty-five. So what we're going to do, this is the idea, is that you're going to put your plate in the middle of this, and that will just kind of sit like that. There you go. And what I'm going to do, and of course you got to hang it, and I have a um, shepherd's hook. I got a couple of them, so I'm going to use one of them, and I'm going to um, put it on a shepherd's hook. Now, if you have a tree where you can hang this from, it would probably be even better. Um, my trees are where I can hang it from. They're so freaking high I couldn't reach, so... I'm going to put on a shepherd's hook for now and see how well it works. Now, what I'm going to do with this, now you can leave this rustic if you like. If you like the rustic look, you can. Um, but I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint, I think I'm going to paint it, I'm not sure yet. I got orange and I got yellow. So I'm going to do the base, maybe yellow. Maybe I'll do this yellow. And then, what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to paint this orange. And that would look really pretty and colorful for being outside for the birdies. Now, I have fountains, and you can also make your one for water for them, you know, if you don't have any, any um, bird baths. I don't have a fountain fountain, I have bird baths. So, um, yeah, so that would look pretty good, too. So it's, it's what you want to make. Now, if you don't want to do this part, you don't have to. You can set this right in there, and it's going to work. you got to have a big plate. I thought I needed a small plate, and it didn't work because of the big hole. Now, I was also thinking, you know, those plastic things that you use for um, plant, planters for inside the house that hold the water? You could probably buy one of those. They're really cheap. And you could put it in the middle of these. You have to get the big one to fit the wreath. So you could do it that way too. So, And some people just buy a plain plate. Or if they have one. And then they paint them. But this is already painted. So I'm not going to change the color. I'm not going to. You know. I really wish it was plastic. I think when you're outside. You really should use plastic. Because I mean the wind catches this stuff. And it breaks very easily. 
So, um, yeah. So if you can find a plastic one that's a big plate that you want to use as your feeder, colorful one, go for it, you know. That's what I do. So this should be help keep it base. And, and then the birdies can sit on here and, and sit on the side here instead of trying to, to sit on the bar wire here. So, um, yeah. So we'll show you how we're going to put this together. And, of course, I'm going to, um, I think... I meant to get some uh, ties. I wanted to put ties those and, and tie this. I think Jay Bear might have some, so I will have to ask him, and we're going to tie this together. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to paint them, okay? I'm going to paint these, and then when they dry, I'm going to come back, and I'll show you them painted, and then we'll, we'll hook them up, and we'll do it that way. I mean, I can show you. A little bit of the painting. I got a board right here. I might use it so I can just sit right here and do it. Uh, I might take them over there because I, the after spray might get on my table. And I'll have an orange and yellow table, which needs to be painted anyways. Yeah, you know, I should paint these. I, I was going to one time and I, I just, it takes a lot of a spray paint to paint these. And I painted uh, one chair and it came out pretty good. I I just painted it black the same color it was But you never know. We should paint these maybe different colors make them brighter. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Anyways, all right I'm gonna go over to my little table that I have over there for my plants and I'll probably I'll bring you along so you can see Yeah, with night. Why not? I know you know how to paint, right? So, anyways, I'm going to clip these off, and we'll get over there, and I will be right back. Okay, guys, so as you see, I got this as the yellow. I got gloss because my mom liked gloss, and she was with me. She says, get the gloss. I said, okay. So I got the gloss, and it's a primer, too, so that should work. And we'll just paint it. It shouldn't take too long. It's just drying time. And it dries real fast, so you don't have to wait too, too long. Which is nice, you know. There we go. Nice and bright and yellow. That's pretty. I think it'll look really nice. There you go. So, that's it. I mean, it's very simple. You're going to spray it. Oops, I messed the spot. I see it. Ah. And right there. I mean, if you put want to do another coat after this one does, dries, I mean, you can. I mean, it's up to you. It depends how well you cover it. And if you're not a painter like me, yeah. So... If you have any uh, colorful paint at home, use it. You know, paint's expensive, but I didn't really have anything that was really colorful that I wanted to do this project. So I had to buy some. These cans were like over $4, of course. I think it was like four, four fifty or up, something like that. So, um, yeah, this project could be a little bit expensive if you have to buy everything. If you have stuff around the house, yeah, um, you know, you might, you know. So, I found this on YouTube. I watched a lady make one of these, and she, it looked pretty cool. So, I thought I'd try and do one. And, uh, yeah, so, um, so I, 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 um, hopefully it'll work out good. I don't know if my shepherd's, um, hook will work as good, though, because I might need a stronger one. These ones came from Dollar Tree. I did my can, uh, my, um, lamps on them. And they, they got the wind and they broke. So, um, I think I got a couple that are still okay. Uh, one broke, though. So, I'll use the hook on that one. And if I like this, I might do another one and do it for, for water. So, I can put a water container in here and um, they can get the water. So, it will be pretty cool. Now, I have a lot of... Uh, uh, squirrel around so probably be feeding more of the squirrels than I will be the 
birds. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see. So I'm going to let this dry and then we'll come back when it dries. I'm going to flip it over. I'll just finish it up. And then I, when I get to the wreath, I'll show you the one side of the wreath. Okay? So we'll be back. Okay, guys, so I got it painted on both sides. It's still a little wet on this side. I'm going to move it so I can do the other one. And see, that's what it looks like on both sides. I only did one coat. I mean, I did a heavy coat on it, so it should be all right. It should be just fine. I'm going to move it over. I mean, this is just for outside. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm sticking to it because it's still wet. But... I'm going to take it over to the other table, and we are going to do this one next. So, let's do this one. I'm going to take this over to the table and let it dry a little bit more. Let's see. Hopefully this yellow won't get on the, this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do, we're going to paint it with the orange. This is the only orange I could find. It looks pretty good. I think it'll blend. look really pretty. Nice and bright. I mean, like I said, if you want to leave your wreath natural, you can. But I wanted some color this time. You know, put some color outside a little bit. Make it pretty and bright for the birdies. This will not harm the birds. Not at all, so it should be fine. I will make sure it's nice and dry before we use it. And they're just going to sit on it anyways, because the plate is going to be sitting on it, so it's not going to harm the birds at all. Trying to get it real good. And we're going to let this dry and then we'll flip it over and redo the other side. So stay tuned and we'll be back when it dries. Okay guys, so what we did got painted. Nice and painted. It is a little bit tacky. Not bad though. I can work with it for right now. I mean, it's only for outside, so I'm not doesn't have to be perfect perfect this thing's orange it's a little little tacky but not bad not where I can't work with it so I mean if you want to let it completely dry I'm not getting it on me so I mean this stuff quickly dries so it's kind of cool so now what I want to do I want to keep it from falling off here so I'm going to just in case the birds sit on this so I'm going to take some ties here I got some ties and I'm going to tie it on to there and I mean if you want to paint these have colored ones that's up to you I'm just going to put these on for security wise and that's it I'm going to I don't know how many I'll probably maybe three I was going to use four but I really don't need four you know and you don't need to do it from the outer side one. You can do it from the inside one. It's just to keep it secure so, you know, the birds get on here and squirrels get on here and stuff like that. So you want to kind of just secure it a little bit. So what I'll do, how did I do that? Eh, this must be wider over here. So I'm going to spread it apart a bit. And I'll just do this one. I think this one's a little smaller. Let's see if I can find a bigger one. It feels like it is smaller. I don't know why, but maybe he, he might have, Shea Bear might have put these all together a little bit. In his, put them all together. So different sizes might be in there. So and I'm just going to, I'll clip these with the scissors here. That's all I need to do. i just clip it. That's it. He gave me these. I don't think I need them though. Just in case, I guess. I wanted to try to use them. And I'll put one over here um, on this side. So, I'll just 
balances out. And make sure I got something on here. Just just in case we have hurricanes and rainstorms and all kinds of stuff. So I just want to make sure it's on there. And then we're good to go. I don't think the birds are going to hurt themselves on these. Sort of closer to the thing, so they're good to go. There we go. All right. Now, what we want to do, we're going to put our little thing on here. And I got this, these little hook things here. And never mind you, this is the only one I could find. I think I might. We could paint this if we want, or you can leave it the way it is. I don't know. Do I want to paint it? No, I'll just leave it the way it is. So, I'm just going to put it here. And then you're going to do crisscross. Do one here. And then we'll do this one here. Just like so. And as you see, I'll go like that. Now... I'm going to bend these because these little hooks right here, I'm going to bend them up some more so then that way they will stay on there and we don't have to worry about it coming off. I, mean, I don't need to use this for something else, I don't think. Unless it breaks. So I'm just going to squeeze it together if I can get a hold of it. Squeeze it together a bit. Oops. Now it wants to come off. Maybe I can do it just on my own here. No. I'm going to need something to squeeze it. There we go. Just to give it a little bit more security. Because these are really big hoops here. And I think that it could come off. Because the hook isn't all the way up as well as I'd like it. So I'm just going to clamp these together if I can get it wide enough. Oh, come on. There we go. And just squeeze it together. Oop, it still came off. But it will be better. And we'll do this one over here. Hopefully you can see that what I'm doing. I, I got these, but whatever works, right? I don't need anything fancy. I just need something that's going to squeeze them together. And, ah, I'm making life harder than it has to be. Ah. These things are just hard to work with. This is what Shaber gave me, so I guess he thought this is what I needed, I don't know. Okay. Ooh. Hurt my hand. And there you go, and see, it balances it out a little bit. So yeah, that's what you're gonna do. And this thing might come off because you got it on there. And then we're going to put the plate on top, just like so. And there you go. So let me get some bird food and I'll get my shepherd's hook. And hopefully this isn't going to be too heavy for it. It might be. I would probably suggest getting the shepherd's hook from Walmart. They're a little bit sturdier or Lowe's or something like that. Um... Yeah, the ones I have are from Dollar Tree. They're a little bit weak. So I don't know if it's going to be strong enough. If not, I'll have to buy me a new one because I really don't have a place in a tree to hang it uh, at all. So we'll try. And if it doesn't work, we'll come up with something else. All right, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so now I got the bird food on there. I just bought, this is a cardinal food, has all kinds of stuff in it, but I'm sure, you know, other birds will eat it too. I couldn't find, um, for every bird, you know, you can buy that sometimes, but 
anyways, so this is what I got, and we are going to go down closer to the, to the bird, fa um, uh, bird bath, sorry, I can't remember anything, so we're going to walk down there, and I'm going to bring it up so you can see me a little bit better, there we go. So hopefully this will work out. If it don't, I'll hang it somewhere else. I'll have to get Shea Bear maybe to hang it in the tree for me. I think it'll work out pretty good. Um, it looks a little colorful. Like I said, if you want to do the chain a different color, you can. Um, that's up to you. I didn't. Um, I'll just leave it the way it is because I might use it again for something else or whatever if this doesn't work out the way I want. Now that's pretty low. Um, yeah, that looks really, really low. So, I'll probably eventually go buy me a real one. Um, these are okay for lamps and stuff. And that's okay. I don't know if I'll get birds on it or not. I put it over here by the water. As you can see, I put some water in there just to show you. It needs to be really cleaned up real good. Um, and hopefully it will attract them and they'll have some feed. It's a little too low, but yeah, I think I'll buy me a shepherd's um, hook from Walmart, and now a stronger one, a taller one. Um, but for right now, that gives you an idea of, you know, how it will look, okay? And uh, I'm going to probably be feeding the squirrels with that one. <laughs> But it should give you an idea anyway. So I can put it somewhere else. Um, I might. I don't know. If I had, if you have a tree that you can hang it in, would probably be best. You know, I have a tree right here. I could hang it in here, and it'd be near the water. Um, that might work. I might try that and see how it looks up there. Okay. Let's see. I'll check it out. When I, can, when I get it up there, I'll, if I can, I'll come back. Okay, guys. So, I did put it up in the tree. I like it better up here. That's pretty cool, right? How about that? That looks nice. I like it there. And it gives a little shade for them. And I might try to get Shaver to bring out his camera, his um, night camera thing, and see if I can get any birds with it. It does with movement. So that might work out. I'll still get the squirrels in there, but that looks a lot better. And it's still near the bird bath here, so I should paint that bird bath. That would look nice painted. That's what I should do. There you go. Anyways, that's it. So you can make another one for water too and hang them up in the trees if you want. Um, yeah. And you can give it some paint and give it a little bit of color. Or you can do the rustic thing and just leave it. You know, it's all about you and what you want. But I thought I'd give it a little bit of color and be a little bit nicer. Cute. I got this vine here. Let me get back here and do some cutting. And I should do that. Now that my mom's home, I can maybe get some work done around the house a little bit. So, anyways... That's it for now, y'all. Um, Monkey Stitch is out. Y'all have a great weekend. We are back at the weekend. And, uh, yeah, if I can get him to bring out his camera, maybe I can get a video of the birds coming out here. That would be really cool. I'd like to do this on the side of the house here, um, too, because my mom's bedroom window is there, and I, she could see them from her bed if I do one by the bed there. But i got to clean it all out. We have a tree, a dead tree in there that Shea Bear needs to cut up. And, and I still have the tarp up there because of the roof. So maybe after I get the roof done, I'll be able to do that for her. But anyways, Monkey says she's out, and y'all have a great weekend. Bye, y'all.